Hi, and welcome to In the Studio at Davis Media Access. I'm your host, Madeline Hamaguchi. Today, our subject is going to be Jump Bike Program. We have uh, several groups of red bikes floating around town. Uh, they look a lot like the one in front of me that you're going to see in a moment. And today, to talk about this with me, is City Council Member Lucas Frerich. Hey, hey Lucas. There. Hey, Madeline. How are you? <laughs> Good, Good to thank see you. you. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm really excited about these bikes. Yeah. Um, as obviously growing up in Davis, it, you learn to ride a bike uh, pretty much as soon as you can learn to balance exactly. <laughs> and walk and everything. Exactly. And so the fact that this is made uh, accessible to more people who may not be able to just own a bike or students that don't have the ability to have the bike in town with them, oh, yeah. this is just uh, really exciting. It's really cool. There's yeah. uh, the uh, even, you know, of course, even the city of Davis has a bicycle on its logo, right? right? I mean, so exactly. it's, uh, or for a logo. So right. um, yeah, lots of a major culture of biking here in, in Davis. So yeah. this seems like just a natural addition to right. the sort of uh, toolkit, you know, of, of a sort of modes of transportation here in Davis. So. I also love how it urbanizes the uh, Davis in general, you know, Tot it, uh, yeah. it, it increases the, the community sharing and everything totally. like that. Um, but before we really jump into that, for those of you watching, what is the jump bike program? Yeah, so the um, so there's a region wide bike share program. Um, bike share is taking off all over the U.S. certainly, but also all over all over the world. Uh, and so uh, here in the Sacramento region, uh, at the Sacramento Area Council of Governments, mm -hmm. SACOG, um, I'm I represent Davis on that board of directors. Uh, the Sacramento Area Council of Governments basically spearheaded this effort to bring uh, a bike share program to the region. Mm -hmm. And so what the it, it really consists consists of is currently it's in Sacramento, West Sacramento, and then here in Davis. Uh, there are many other cities in, in the region that are also very interested in having it be expanded, certainly. But um, you see, we'll see a little bit here later, mm -hmm. these red bikes. Um, Jump is the company, um, and it is a partnership, though, um, between the regional governments, uh, including City of Davis, but it also um, the the company that is Social Bicycles, mm -hmm. uh, and now, and, but they have these Jump bikes, and they're electric assist bikes. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they are that you can still pedal them without electricity, you know, electric assist, but they have this little kick to them, and they can go up to about 15 miles an hour. And they're <laughs> located all throughout the region, and they're really a lot of fun. But mm -hmm. also, they makes getting to and from places a breeze. So it's great. yeah, exactly. I love I love the fact that uh, it, in this transportation initiative that yep. it it encourages riders of jump bikes and of Amtrak to use them together. That's, yep. um, that's it, it's amazing that that they're yeah. working together for that and then also the three cities you know down in oh, yeah. between the Amtrak line there. exactly that's really great yeah that's one of the things that you know is really is an issue in transportation right. is that sort of issue of the last first and last mile right so mm -hmm. for example someone gets off the train in downtown Davis at the at the station off the Capitol corridor and then they have to go to UC Davis well they have several options right. and many people actually just walk but this provides an option where people can literally just get on their phone with the app, you know, rent, you know, basically reserve a bike mm -hmm. and then go straight to campus really quickly. Uh, right. And so, and, and efficiently. So yeah, it's, it's really fun and wow. it's great. Um, uh, so you mentioned before too, that, uh, the, uh, Sacramento Area Council of Governments yep. was the spearheading uh, organization that's, that's right. for this particular program. Yeah. Um, but it sounds like it, it for Davis in particular, um, it, there's a couple of you know uh, per, person resources that also made this happen. Oh yeah. Um, so you and Jennifer D'Onofrio at the yep. city, the city's bike yeah. head coordinator, right. Jennifer D'Onofrio. Yeah. And, and um, Brian Abinot as well, who's right. a transportation planner for the city. Yeah. Um, and then there was a uh, cooperative. Um, effort as well from UC Davis. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, actually, you know, that that's one of the real ways that we have to op to sort of uh uh, collaborate with the university mm -hmm. in our sort of town and gown relationship is right. to is to basically make sure that this uh, bike share program is a success uh, b across both right. the city and in the university. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. great. Um, so let's uh, get down to a little bit more talking about the nitty gritty of the program and the bikes themselves. Sure. So there's uh, in terms of numbers, they started the program in May, yep. middle of May, that's and correct. dropping off uh, they, they dropped off 300 bikes. Yep, 300 in... bikes between uh, Sacramento, West Sacramento, and Davis. Mm -hmm. um, right now, there are about 600 bikes that is doubled mm -hmm. in size, uh, and by the end of the fall, but um, there should be about 900 uh, between That's... Sacramento, 
um, awesome. West Sacramento and Davis. Yeah. So in Davis right now, there are about 60 to 70 bikes mm -hmm. at any one time. Um, but we should be up to about 160 um, in a, within the next couple of months. That's yeah, awesome. it's great. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, they're already very accessible. Um, yeah. You know, working in a, work in a city building. And so there's, I love the fact that it's right outside. Yeah. And you can uh, just walk around the corner. I was able to access this bike in a five minute or less walk. Yeah. Um, so that's been. One thing that's amazing, I mean, you know, one of the ways we see this is yeah. that you would sort of view something as a success or not is by the usage, right? Yeah. How much they're actually getting used. And so bike share uh, in other communities, it, the, the typical usage per day, one bike will be used essentially about twice per day, two, mm -hmm. two to three rides per day. Um, we are already seeing in the Sacramento region, including here in Davis, these bikes are being used on average six times per day. <laughs> wow. So people are really, you know, using them. They've made a splash and that people are really, really, really. <laughs> Wow. using them yeah that's amazing it's pretty cool yeah wow. um but i'm so happy to hear that yeah that's cool. <laughs> um yeah, and the, part of the thing that makes them easy to use is or easy for them to be accessed by lots of people is that they're a simple machine in general oh, it, yeah. they it sounds fancy with the electric assist pedaling and right. uh, pedaling and yeah. um uh the location technology on your phone and right, everything. Right, exactly. That's how you rent these bikes, is uh, you download the app. There's a jump app. And I believe also you can access the bike rental through Uber. Yep, um, exactly. So yep. you have a couple of different options there. And so you pay electronically. Um, and everything else is just it's contained within the bike. Oh, yeah. So uh, let's take a look at the bike itself sure. a little bit. Let's point out yeah, some yeah. features. Um, we do have your basket with, there's even a cup holder inside yeah. for all of the coffee addicts around town or <laughs> water bottle holders. Um, we have a uh, very basic uh, yeah, hand handlebar breaks. brakes. Yeah. Um, they're, they're not too far away and they're easy to squeeze. We have the electric assist pedals or I guess regular pedals. Right, uh, exactly. On there's some a, bikes. Yeah, there's an internal hub that right. that ha that uh, helps with the electric assist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's great. Uh, we have this module at the back is a solar panel to yep. charge, to keep the bike charged. Uh, it actually, the pan solar panel actually um, keeps the the computer running, oh. right? And it sort oh, of charges great. the computer, yeah, oh, and, cool. and the lights too, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, exactly. The There's lights, a, yeah. and so you don't have to provide your own tail light or any of your own right. equipment, really. Yep. You even have a U lock. You'll see it in a moment when we uh, we're gonna reserve this bike right yeah. here in the studio. So also one of my favorite upgrade yeah. in the handlebar is the built-in <laughs> right. built bell too. So right there. So great. It's pretty cool. <laughs> um, and then, uh, and then at the back we have your your push button keys, so it's not touch screen, which actually is oh, you yeah. know good to maintain and exactly. things like that. So um, uh, they're they're fairly easy to operate. They have yeah. a fairly good turn radius, a little shorter than yep. normal bicycles, but you, you go so fast it feels like you're riding a miniature motorcycle yeah, or scooter. Exactly. So they can actually um, the electric assist bikes. They can go up to 20 miles per hour. Uh, oh. But we uh, in the Sacramento region have uh, modulated them to max out at 15 mm -hmm. miles per hour. 20 miles an hour is a lot. It, it was pretty fast, it you is. know, especially on a bike. So yeah. if you're in traffic or on a bike path or something, so right. um, yeah, it's interesting too that um, the so they're pretty uh, they're pretty mm -hmm. inexpensive as well too. So it's a dollar uh, cost for a 15 minute uh, ride. So or four dollars. Mm -hmm. um, per hour so usage so, right right yeah. and so it's, it's a lot of people use them for sort of short trips right so right. you know you're you know going running to the grocery store or running off to a meeting or you know going from the train station to campus or whatever so <laughs> exactly um, you yeah. know it's you're probably not going to be necessarily on a bike all day long riding around people do 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 that certainly mm -hmm. but um so it's pretty uh you know the the cost is not uh too much as well that's great right and and the fact that there are so many means that you know Guilt-free, you can just you can leave it at a bike rack or at yep. a hub. Yep. Um, um, the uh, there are a couple of main rules with jump bikes yeah. for uh, safety and for courtesy. One is that you do need to be an adult. You need to be 18 or older, yep, I believe, to correct. rent it. Yep, that's and, correct. And um, uh, it is advisable always that you wear a helmet. Yep. Um, and but that is something you're going to have to supply yourself. Right. Exactly. And then uh, for maintenance and courtesy we should park these bikes at bike racks or yep. in the app you'll see that there are incentive uh 
there's that they're that they incentivize you to leave them at certain hubs. Yeah. On so the like screen, you you'll see a oh, yeah. collection of uh, jump bikes right up there. Uh, That's great. Yeah. The, if you, yeah, if a bike is uh, running low on a mm -hmm. charge, right? It's electric charge. It will sh it will show you on the app that it is yeah. running low. But they will the the app will show you. Oh, please! You know, if right. you bring the bike back to this certain, it'll have a little uh, sort of uh, you know charging indicator. Like a little yeah. uh, green yeah, yeah, yeah. blob. Yeah. And uh, why don't we just start that up right now? Yeah, actually, that's great. I'll break out my phone and uh, let's see. So I have uh, an iPhone with me, but there is the same app on Androids as well. Yeah. So um, I don't know about Windows phones. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, so when you start up the app, it's going to look something like this. There's a, um, there's a map, in this case, a map, a map of Davis. Uh, and it shows all these red dots where the locations of all the available mm -hmm. bikes are. So. Right. Um, so there is a bike right in front of us. You can see that there is a blue dot on the map as well. It works just like regular GPS or uh, uh, like Uber or yeah, something like exactly. that. And so we have the bike right here. And I'm just going to say reserve this bike. And you can confirm. Please wait. And then this bike, when you get close to it, this screen on the panel that we were looking at before, you wake it up. And uh, sometimes it will just detect your phone when you're close. Right. And then it'll, it's going to ask you for a PIN. And so the PIN number, if you look at the screen, as this is like a mini tutorial here, on the upper right-hand side of the map, it's going to give you a PIN number. And great. Yeah, you enter the PIN, and you can hear that the, that the, bot, the lock unlocked. Exactly. Yeah. So you take out. You, it comes with a very large U-lock, which makes it easy to lock anywhere. Yeah. You can, yep. And then you just put it here. And on the screen of my phone now is, uh, it, it's a readout of how long I've been renting it and how, lo how far I've gone and then what, uh, uh, how much it's cost, Charge, yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, I, the other thing I really love about this app is how easy it is to report a bike that is broken, um, is uh, needs a charge, if something's oh, yeah. wrong with it, or if a bike isn't where you think it's going to be, yeah. um, things like that. There have been, uh, you know, the, everyone has pretty much been pretty happy with the system so far. I would say the one set of complaints that we've heard is that some people um, just park, will park a bike like in the sidewalk and uh, not actually lock it to a bike rack or something right. and just sort of, and so it can really impede right. uh, flow of pedestrian traffic, especially mm -hmm. if someone you know, has limited mobility or maybe in a wheelchair or something, that right. that would be uh, you know, difficult to sort of have to navigate around. So um, the city of Davis and uh, Sacramento as well too, but city of Davis has required that the bikes be um, actually locked to a, mm -hmm. a bike rack, any, any bike rack, not just right. a jump bike bike rack but uh you know there if you find a situation where a, a, a jump bike has just been left you know in on a street or somewhere in your neighborhood um you can report it to um jump customer right. ju you know cu customer service and they are very quick about uh, making sure that it gets exactly. you know taken care of so i've actually seen those jump bike fans come around and you know, oh, yeah. clean, uh, clean up and fix, and it's yep. it's great to see that, that they're being taken care of. Exactly, yeah, so, it's great. Um, I believe that we were running out of time, but I really enjoyed this. Thank, thank you, you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks so much for having me. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and thank you so much for watching in the studio at Davis Media Access. We hope to see you next time, and don't forget to rent a jump bike when you're out and about in downtown Davis. Yeah.